marshmallow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on into the Origins No Gum Record. I have he with me here, Invisible Hold, the man, the myth, the legend who absolutely nailed this run and got the world record. What's up, Invisible Hole? How's it going, man? Yo, what's good? What's uh, good? Glad to be here. Yes, sir. And so, I mean, listen, we've had, I have to reiterate this to everybody watching right now. We have That's tried to record this. Yes, yeah, we have had some technical difficulties. And so, there's going to be a couple of things that I bring up to Invisible. And he's going to be like, bro, you've, you've, you've said this five <laughs> times now. <laughs> like, but, um, I mean, let's start off with this run. So, this run for you was really big because of this beginning Gen 3 strat, right? Like, you're doing something here yeah. that not many people have figured out on Black Ops 3 Origins. Do you want to, like, kind of explain your whole thought process right now with the Gen 3 open here? Yeah, so, um, the tank, the tank skip one part, we found out how to do that without the Boom Hilda. So you can just run up and do it. Right. And I'm actually the first person to incorporate that into uh, no gums here. And so um, it saves a good amount of time. And that's why we come to Gen 3 first so that we can get the part here, as you'll see. Right. And just to reiterate, you can't do what you just did right here on Black Ops 2. Right. And that's the reason the why game, this is so unique, at least to the Black Ops 3. And especially because you don't need any gums yeah. to hit this, which is, I mean, that's so cool. Like... I never right. would have thought that this would have been a thing. Because it's like, were you part of the speedrunning when people were figuring this out with, like, the strafe jump from the tank path and, like, the Boom Hilda skip? Like, it was so crazy what people were figuring out over here. At least on the Black Ops 2 yeah. version. It's just crazy. Yeah, Black Ops 2 is crazy because they got that movement where they can just, like, strafe and jump up there. Yeah. Like, it's kind of sick. Yeah, it's so cool. And so, again, for people that haven't seen this before, I've explained this before, but basically... Invisible Hole actually managed to miss a death barrier, which is the reason why he was able to go up here. Do you want to like give a little explanation yeah. about like tick rate and how that kind of works? Are the spawns works? right there? Just like, oh yeah, so God. the death barrier, um, Not even it'll strike barrier, every like... three seconds. So it'll tick on that every three seconds. So six, uh, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. And so um, there's something that changes that timing of when it strikes, and that's buying a door. So if you buy a door at the correct timing, so like intervals of three plus one, so three and four, six and seven, nine and ten, the three second death barrier timing, that will remain the same. So if you open a door at a different time, it'll change that timing. So it's important to not, you know, mess that up so that way you can get the trick every time. Right. Is there any other zombies map that utilizes that type of tech? I don't think mm. I've ever heard of that, to be honest, on any other map. Like, right, the death barrier tick. I death mean, barriers? yeah, I don't know. I think for SOE, there's the human grapple in which they they can death barrier, but they don't like use the tick to avoid it. Oh, it just interesting. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, because it's there really is no other zombies map that I can think of that places a death barrier so like yeah that uses the like that information area. it's really really unique yeah I think. no that that is definitely something unique especially because i mean you don't even really see that utilized even on bo2 origin so and uh here yeah. you haven't hit a wind staff part we were saying earlier how you had some pretty late wind staff parts but was still able to hit the wr what were your thoughts going on here like were you going to reset here if you didn't get middle robot or what was what was your plan here yeah, so normally, um, like in Megas, you want to you wanna get the spawn robot first. Right. Um, sometimes you start for that, but my thought process was since I'm doing the tank skip, I have, you know, an, a bit of extra time save, and so I can get that spawn part later, and I, that's what I do without losing too much time. Yeah, so it all no. works out in the end. It, it, I <laughs> honestly think that is also what makes this run so unique is how you hit these wind staff parts, because usually, like, every world record run I ever see is, like, just the most opportune yeah. robot feat. And so it's like, I, I was saying this before, like this is what the Origins World Record is about. It's about adaptability, like basically doing the best yeah, of what you're perfect. given. Yeah, yeah. and exactly. seriously, it's, you did a you That's did why a it's really so good fun job. too. Yeah, yeah. And I know we were talking earlier about how the no gum record is kind of not really getting pushed a lot. What is like the maximum time that you could really see this record getting pushed here? Yeah, I think um, 
So Origins, it's a cycle-based map, like right? the robots, they come every two minutes. Right. So I think you could be like two cycles faster, so like, you know, four to five minutes faster is like what a perfect run could do. So you're thinking like a 46-minute type of world record yeah. here for No Gum, which is honestly insane. Which is crazy, for No yeah. Gums, bro. Like, I don't think people get how ridiculous that is, bro. That's insane for yeah, 46. Because you got to put three staffs into yeah. the robots. So that's like six minutes, right? And then yeah. you got the rain fire. And... and yeah, just to reiterate, you can't actually skip that step on solo no gums because you need self-medication for that, which is why you were saying a lot of people don't like speed running this category because there's just that massive extra layer of RNG with all the staffs and the robots. Right. So... Yeah, yeah, it's pretty pretty interesting with that. And so with no gum record here, are you planning on getting the staffs in a different order up, like from the Megas run or are you still doing it in the same order? Uh, it's basically the same order, like uh, ice, wind, uh, lightning, and then fire. Right, right. Um, we, we don't have self-meds, um, so we can't do two of them at a time. So we just right. do them one at, one at a time, right? Right, yeah. And so that also gives a little bit of extra time because you have to then carry the staffs over to the crazy yeah. place and all that, which, I yeah, was, it is, kind of it's so trailer, weird how a so whole skip down. kind of like brought that Elf whole man, Easter dude, egg. It's crazy. Like, I, I genuinely can't believe half the skips people have found, Shadows. specifically for Shadows and Origins. Like, it's just genuinely so ridiculous this many years later and so i have a question yeah. for you do you think that there is any room for any more skips like that like have are you like a part of like sort of like myth busting these type of speed runs where you're trying to find skips no. I, I saw yeah. a clip from imac where he was like able to get out of the origins heads and kind of like <laughs> yeah. walk out was there anything to do with that yet or is there anything that has happened with that or is that kind of just like a dead end you know? Now that's a dead end since okay. you have to no clip to get I out see. of the map and do that. Yeah. Um, in terms of like overall new skips, um, I personally right now don't think anything big will be saved. So like right. Origins Megas, it's at like a low 32 right now. It can be pushed to a 31, but like after that, I don't think we'll see a 30 or a 29 unless something big is found. So like, right. I really don't see anything new. That saves a lot of time being found on Origins. Right. And I find... I hope I'm wrong. No, I really hope... Like, I just love seeing these skips come to life. I honestly... I hope you're wrong too. But I, I was just yeah. going to comment about how you've got the stone here early right. and you were also yeah. using the shield to get it. So what is your thoughts about when you're going to place the stone and grab that G-Strikes? Like, what is your what is your process here? Because this is a very different route of running this stone usually. Like, most people go right back yeah. to gen 2 and get that g-strike right so oh, what, what's yeah. your what's your thought process Fucking right here door. um kind of like kind of like megas so when i come over here for the uh, first I time i want to get the 20 kills while i'm over here and so since i'm doing ice first i also want to go down the ice portal right um and so that just kind of lines things up right so i go through the ice portal and then i come back out here and then get the clean tablet and right. then i can go back to spawn and you know yeah. eliminates the uh, extra trips. I think a lot of people also don't realize that you can instantly re-clean the tablet. I think a lot of people think that you have to like re-get the souls or something to clean the yeah. tablet, and that's actually not true. You just literally right. you just gotta click the activate in. button next to the thing. Yeah, which is, I mean, that's kind of cool. I think, especially like seeing some of the skips with this stone, I saw, I think it was Scotty, where he was using the Boom Hilda to like, propel himself over the tank path without touching the dirt all the way to gen 2 to place it down for the yeah. strikes that was really cool and so, so the interesting thing about the uh the tablet is so when it's clean the game checks for the tablet or like, i guess the game checks for you being in mud right. um every second so you oh, could okay. actually run through like a patch of mud and run through it and your tablet isn't dirty because it checks it every second which is really ah, cool. Ah, that's fascinating. That really actually reminds yeah. me of the last time we were trying to record and you were telling me about the Templars where they're very specific for the Easter egg steps. Do you want to like give the full clarification on what the Templars are and why they're so important for a run like this? Because it adds a whole level of RNG in my opinion just to get the WR here, right? So 
It's kind of. I mean, the Templar round. Yeah, yeah. Like, what happens if you get Templars on like round one, and it like or on generator one, and just completely. Oh yeah, yeah. Ruins your your game, you know? Like, what what is your yeah, thought so process like, with that? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um. So you want to be pushing rounds because the first round with, I guess technically the first round with thirty two zombies is uh, round ten, but you have Templars, so it's better just to push to eleven. Um, to do your fire staff kills, because you need 32. Right, And right. so, Jesus, with the Templars, you're going to be in the middle of the map, like I am right now. Yeah. And so if you get Gen 1, you got to run all the way to Gen 1 and uh, deal with those Templars, which loses a lot of time, right? So it's right. better to have the Templars in the middle of the map. I also respect that you instantly grab stamina up here. And yeah, we did yeah. say that you did uh, forget to pick up the Wind Disc back there at Gen 5. But oh, it yeah. is what it is. It, I think it's so cool that getting stamina up now is kind of a whole other layer of RNG for these world records because of how effective it is at just pushing these times. And so what's your ideal perk setup for this Origins world record? Yeah, so if I get if I have points when I um, finish Gen 5 there, um, I'll always buy stamina up first. And then if I have points when I come out of here, I'll buy Jug, which I don't. Right. Uh, which I'll buy later. And then I'll buy stamina up jug and then mule kick, so that way I have the the staff, the boom hilda, and then a bullet gun. And then um, I'll buy speed cola if I can as well. Those are the, kind of the four perks. Right. Yeah. No, I think it's so interesting because it's like a lot of Easter eggs. I see people just grab stamina up for the whole Easter egg, and then that's it, right? But Origins, yeah. it really kind of makes you cultivate everything yeah. because of that final 100 kill step, right? Like you really need to make sure. You're on the ball yeah. here. And so I also like that What's you're actually, literally... Um, oh, yeah. I, I, I was just going to say, I like that you're upgrading the ice yeah. staff here while doing the gen. Yeah. Like, that's so crazy, bro. Yeah, save some time on that. Yeah, that and, is um, so crazy. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. That's all right. Oh, no. Sorry, man. I hate doing that, no, bro. Good. Even to myself. Uh, but... There's just so much, so much going on and so much to say. Yeah, no. Um, oh, wait. Boring. Yeah, I'll say um, I've actually had runs before where I just didn't have points. Right. To get jug, and I've actually done like uh, a whole Easter egg on Origins without jug, like Sheesh. no gun. Wow! And it's yeah. like it gets really crazy at the end because it's just so easy to die. Yeah, I mean the closest I feel like I can relate to that is like trying to do a reverse rainbow perk Easter egg on Origins, where it's like you yeah. start with PhD and then literally end with jug after you get all the red dig ups. Like that's, that's yeah. a pretty hard challenge. Too. It's it's pretty difficult, but not as hard as getting a WR. Let me tell you. Man. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, also you, you hit a great long shot here with the ice staff, getting that stone. And we were talking yeah. about earlier before that, that is only possible on black ops three origins because of the way the staffs were changed. And so it's like with yeah. those changes between BO2 and BO3, isn't it kind of weird that they just changed up the whole game like that? You know, like it, it doesn't really even make sense. You know, I, right. I don't it's understand like, that. On this yeah. I mean, they changed, um, like the ice Anything staff else. range, it's got like infinite range on Black Ops 3. Yeah. The um, the upgraded staffs, they can melee, which in Black right. Ops 2 they couldn't do that. I know we talked about that earlier. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is kind of like a really weird mechanic. They added like this whole new uh, melee on the staffs. And it's yeah. Like, I wonder why they did that. <laughs> and, and you know what's also crazy? I just realized that you built shield in the wind tunnel. And that is so rare, I find, with a lot of Origins World yeah. Records. Most of them build Maxis drone there. So... Yeah, is, you, build maxis, but... is your maxis drone gonna be back at the church or where yeah okay so yeah that the church. that's that's yes. so fascinating as well and then here you managed to come back right for spawn robot and hit gen 3 at the same time like it's so perfect because gen 3 is kind of out of the way from everything you know like you, yeah you got really lucky here getting that yeah so like normally i won't have gen 3 on like by the time i pick up wind staff in a normal game right but um, since I had Spawn Robot last, I was able to get that Gen 3 on, which so that saves a bit of time compared I, to like getting Spawn Robot earlier in the game. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So it's, I find it like it, it's so interesting how it it literally changes so much Sube from that. 20? And so, uh, my, right. yeah. my my thing is like, what is the play now? Are you going for uh, G strikes here? Or are you just going full on for the staffs? Because it's like a lot of people don't know this, but like staff upgrades, I would say is like what ninety percent of Origins Easter egg. Once you've gotten all the upgrades, yeah. 
The last couple steps you see people doing in like under four minutes. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so. Yeah, usually it takes me like 30. I get the staffs upgraded at like 30 minutes this run. Wow. And then, you know, putting the staffs in the robots is like, you know, another 15 or something. Right, right. And uh, so with that yeah. step specifically, is that step fully RNG or can you like guess saying, where the robots three, are going to come from to place so. which staff? Because I find whenever I play, that step is almost I'm like getting, fully like, luck based, staff, you know? So yeah, it's know. it's pretty rough That's on solo, there. especially. So. Yeah, because um, I, I, when I, I, whenever <laughs> I've played, I've always, feel, I've always felt like it's like middle robot and then church and then um, spawn, but... I don't know. It's always you got yeah, lucky it's always, here. It's in this random, game. basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and so, like, if you get like a single, like a, a single robot that comes through, say if it's uh, like the middle robot, right? Uh, the next here. robot cycle, you can't get middle again. Yeah, so, uh, you get like a 50, 50, 50 at knowing like which robot's gonna come next. Right. So it's not like too bad in that regard, but what it is pretty pretty rough. Right, yeah, and here, what? here Where's you're the, looking yeah. for the disc. Looking it's so the, yeah. funny because again, this goes back to what we were just talking oh. about. Another change between BO2 and BO3 <laughs> yeah. of like even the disc's positioning of how it's portrayed in those part locations is different. Like the disc is flat on BO3 on that box, and then in BO2, it's like you can actually see it. Again, another change where it's like, why did they even bother going through all of that? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Um, just something very subtle. Yeah. Twice. yeah, and so like you this. are also saving chests for last, right? And that's an interesting yeah. thing because we've talked about that before where BO2 Origins speedrun, so you actually do the chests first. And so is it just because mm -hmm. chests, when you save it for last, you can do it faster when you have like an upgraded staff? Like what's the idea behind that on BO3 versus BO2? Yeah, mainly you can, it's faster because you can do them in one round. Like right. on Black Ops 2, they're doing like six and seven on one chest. Right. Um, and that's also because of the fists. So like on, on BO3 here, I can use the RK5 and the shield to get my melees for the right. G-Strike. On Black Ops 2, you don't really have, you know, that. The shield doesn't really work that well. And so right. it's kind of like you need the fists to get those melee kills. Right, yeah, I know, I know on BO2 there is a glitch where you, like, charge the staff and then whip out the shield, but, like, most of yeah. the time you don't, like, it would be before you even have, like, an upgraded staff, I feel like. So, right. uh, it's also interesting because I know on the classics version of BO3 Origins, a lot of people use sword flay here. Do you find mm -hmm. that pulling a sword flay is faster than building the shield on classics, or is it, like, kind yeah, of the same really time? Good. Okay, yeah, because it's like, yeah. I mean, y you found a really good way of doing it on no gums, but it's it's just interesting that for classics, you just pull one gobble gum. And so I've also noticed like the time between the classics run and this no gum record are pretty similar, which is insane because it's like classics you can use anywhere but here. You can use sword flay, right? And right. so also you were telling me last time before about how that panzer was really lucky in a way because you were just able to sort of manipulate it to spawn there at the fire tunnel what what was your process yeah. about that like is it just because you're in the tunnel that it spawns there or is or how does that work yeah so um it's similar to like the megas route actually where you end the end the round at the g strike after right. finishing it and then by the time you get to the fire tunnel he'll spawn right outside of it and so you can just kill him really easily right and obviously here you, you're doing really well cycling the rounds getting all the stones yeah. and getting your upgraded puzzles and all that and so i don't know i just i find it so crazy that like a origins no gum world record the max okay. possible time or the Super lowest good. possible time it could be is 46 minutes and it's like i remember the days when it's like people thought sub hour was Bro. impossible <laughs> and you're telling me yeah that we could go literally 15 minutes faster than that which is just uh, also insane. And so here you redo the death barrier skip. Why is yeah. that? Why is it just get to gen two faster? Or what is, what is your play here? You're I'm going to gen four back. here to, gen uh, four. Shoot yeah. the, to shoot the wind orb. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so, cause I already grabbed a part earlier. Right. Uh, the death barrier isn't there, so it's I can just run right up and not have to wait for it. Right, nice. right. I see, and that is I honestly think shield. your new big strategy for this run specifically, because like I said, I yeah. have never seen someone really hit it like that. 
Um, and so also, on, you know, on uh, BO2, you can sort of do those skips, like those strafe jump skips over the tank mm -hmm. path to come back to church. Can oh, we yeah, do yeah. that on BO3? I know the jumping mechanics on BO3, you're a lot more heavier in the mud. Like those aren't even possible on BO3, right? Even with the Boom Hilda. I, I, it's, you can, it's, it's you can do weird. that with the Boom Hilda, yeah. Okay, you can. But, okay. Uh, yeah, you can't run and do it though. You need uh, right. like, the boost from the yeah i find that so fascinating that it's like it's that much more different on bo3 like you're just so much heavier in this game for some reason um i don't i think it's you don't jump as higher yeah 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 it's yeah it's so bizarre it's then, another thing that's interesting is actually i don't i forgot to mention this hmm. so i um i play at basically 100 frames you see in the right. top right right and the thing with this, actually, Black Ops 3, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it applies to other games, but the lower your FPS is, the higher you can jump. So I yes. actually lower my yeah. FPS so that I can do the tank tank skip earlier. Or oh, easier. that is so fascinating. Because you okay. jump higher, yeah. Yeah, no, you're, you're actually right, because in the older games, it's actually different. I've seen clips of people on BO1 Moon, for example, and they'll mm -hmm. raise their FPS, and the higher the FPS is, the actual higher they jump in the no gravity areas of Moon. And it's right. insane because it's like I've seen someone play on like 300 FPS on Moon, and they're in the biodome when it's excavated, and they can literally jump to the jump top so of the high biodome. Up. Yeah, that's crazy, yeah. huh? Like that <laughs> is so broken; it doesn't even make sense. So it, it's interesting that you said for this game, it's actually the opposite. The lower the FPS, the higher you're able to jump. I think that's BO2 right. specific, personally, because yeah, I've seen people sure. do that. You know, over like the buried spawn room jump, like that big strafe jump where you can jump from one side to the other uh, without yeah. falling down. So yeah, that is so weird how that is uh that is a thing and honestly i don't think that affects too many speed runs but specifically for this one for that origin stage yeah the tank skips yeah yeah that's that's pretty cool and so here you've just finished up wind staff and now you're going obviously to get lightning and start yeah. all that up and so what do you think was like the hardest part of this run specifically was there a part where you were about to reset or something that went bad or what was what was the big deal with this run yeah um i think besides like missing the the wind disc and the, the fire disc right i think um like gen 2 like i ran out of ammo at, and a shield at gen 2 so like you saw i was just knifing like right. with the wind staff out like that was really scary and almost died yeah um the ending when you're doing the fist the fist kills to get the upgraded fist it's really easy to die on that right right uh, yeah. i think i almost die on that if i remember correctly but yeah so and it's, it's also it's because scary. of the difference in bo2 and bo3 mechanics like bo2 mechanics are slow the zombies are slower to swipe oh, whereas like on bo3 you can get insta five hit you know and that that can be very, oh yeah very it's scary it's crazy like so we talked about like point farming right like the optimal point farming on on round three and round four is to shoot an rk5 burst and then right. knife right i i've gone to knife okay. like one of those guys on round three and they've killed me like before i could kill them like they just that's hit insane. you like so fast yeah that's three <laughs> hits bro and like, that's a lot of hits too like i honestly i think about if this game was built on the bo2 system with a two hit I just feel like it would be so unplayable, even with Widow's One, you know? Like, oh, yeah. It's, it's just something that ever since Black Ops 3, the rate at which zombies actually swipe you is much faster. They've never reverted yeah. it back to BO2. They're much more BO3. aggressive in Black yeah. Ops 3 than Black Ops 2. Yeah, but... and, and it's like, I don't know if you've ever speedrun like, games like Cold War. Like, do you find that to be an issue in those games where the zombies are so fast and they hit you so fast? Because... I kind of like the BO2 mechanics more, I find, than, like, the Black Ops 3 ones, you know? It's, uh... Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, kind of makes me wish we could go bro, back. where's the Mauser? Like, yeah, I... They, yeah, I, I kind of like... I really like them both, I think. I think okay. the Black Ops 2 one is, like... I think of, like, um... Like, Buried, where, like... It's like Buried Clutches, right? The Clutch Clips, like, on Black Ops 2, and, like, in the spawn rooms, where, like, people are, like like squeezing by a horde of zombies in the first room and it's like how did that guy not die that's uh, insane see that's, that's what i mean those clutches yeah. you don't see that anymore really no you can't do that in ba3 really when i also think yeah. like the armor system Bro. kind of doesn't make those plays as cool oh, anymore now because it's like 
where? If you like, why did he just out, spawn in? I've been in here for. You'll just sort of seconds. like only be able to, like I don't know. You'll get hit a lot, but where it's not flash? the same. And so here, you're, yeah. you're complaining about man, finding last. I'm looking last. for the last zombie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's nowhere hey, to be found. Hey, man, I, I get that, bro. Like, I, that's the other thing that I find interesting is that crazy place spawns <laughs> what? are really all over the place. Like, do you find that to be a big issue for the last step of this Easter egg? Like, not finding the zombies? Yeah, well, not not in the last step, but, like, okay. if you're going, um, if you're going, like, in and out uh, to do, like, a staff upgrade or place a staff and you're trying to end the round... Um, that's when it's really hard to find the zombies. Right. And, um, and that's because, like, when you teleport to the crazy place, during that sequence, the zombies, they will spawn and spawn because you're not right. on the map. Right. And so if they spawn and spawn, you get into the crazy place, and then they have to despawn, and then you leave, and then they have to despawn again, and it's like this whole, you know, big mess. Yeah, no, that's... <laughs> It's a lot. And also, you got really lucky getting a Gen 4 Templar. I find that yeah. is probably the best spot. Gen 4 or 5, I would say. Um, yeah, Gen 4 or 5. Yeah, so, and that's, that's pretty rare. Because usually I see on most world records that I've watched, most of the Templar rounds are, or Templar generators are usually 1, 2, or 3. Which is like the worst ones to get. Or 2 or 3 is actually the most common ones that I see. <laughs> If, if you see yeah. one, that's Three's just like good. an immediate reset. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Is it, yeah. Do you find it's harder to throw the G-Strike at Generator 2 or Generator 3? Generator 2 seems a little far, right? Yeah, at Generator 2, um, you can like land the G-Strike on top of the roof of the workshop. Right. Um, or you could like land it on top of the generator itself, and um, sometimes it won't work. Whereas Generator 3, it's pretty easy to just chuck it in there and it'll work. Fucking right, and so... Dude. Let's say for BO2, right? We talked about this before about how the G strikes on Black Ops 2, you only get two versus the three on this one. Do you feel like yeah. that is such a massive help in terms of like the Templars and also like hitting the Maxis drone uh, little hole area? Like, is that really a big benefit or is it kind of whatever having that extra G strike? Yeah, I mean, you really want to think that one extra G strike doesn't do that much, but it really does. It, yeah. it does a lot. Yeah. Um, I also think like it's fascinating how we were talking about this before about how the BO3 origins when you throw the G strike for the button step in the robot head, uh, it gives you extra time than on BO2. Yet it's yeah. still so unsolo friendly because it doesn't guarantee you middle robot. I find that like just such a bizarre design choice by Treyarch. You know, it doesn't it doesn't make yeah. any sense. Um, I think it's because um, the robots, they're just designed to be random. Right. And so instead of tying the robots to, like, the step itself, they just, you know, program the robots to keep going through. And it's like, well, they could have, you know, made it so you always get it guaranteed, but right. and, and they did not. And for that step specifically, for Triple Robot, the button step, how many times and how many games, I would say, do you feel like you reset it? Is it, like, one in five games, one in ten like, is it, it's, does it become super annoying? Because it's like, I've seen people speedrun or try to speedrun Origins, right? For a whole day, for like 10 hours, and they just never get Triple Robot first foot. And that's it. Yeah. Like, they just waste the whole day. It's crazy, man. I don't, yeah, yeah, I feel like I got it like every three runs. Okay. I think. But like, for uh, No Gums, you, when you rain fire, you have like two or three boxes done. So right. if you don't get it first cycle, you can use you know you can use that time to get a box done, and then you make it in time for the next cycle. Right, right. So you have some leeway in terms of uh, the rain fire foot. Yeah, no, it's you definitely have a lot more leeway. I'd say on Bo3, and here you yeah. are filling up your staffs. Also, you were telling me how earlier you were preemptively filling up your ice staff uh, on the other side because. The fire staff is on the opposite side of the ice staff in the crazy place. And so I find it's quite difficult to fill up that ice staff from this point in the map. But you yeah. got it all sorted. You've already got it done. Got a lucky in skill as well. Did you find your drops were really good? Or do you think your drops could have been better this game? They probably could have been better, but they weren't, you know, they weren't terrible. I what is think. like the most ideal drop? Because from what I see from most BO2 Origins runs, it's the insta kill at the final step and also just yeah. maybe some nukes before you get to the crazy place as well. Um, but what do you think is like the most important drop? Is it like right at the beginning of the game, right at the end of the game? 
he kind of uh, yeah, I think, uh, um, that. it's probably like circumstantial, like, right. Um, if you get a nuke, like, like, say you get like Gen One temp Templar zombies, shit, right. and you dig up a nuke, See, that, that's, that's like huge. perfect. Yeah, you know what I yeah. mean? Um, or like the ending, like getting an insta kill and a death machine, and the ending, that's really, really good. Right, right, uh, yeah, and that's again, that's yeah. only Bo3 because Bo2 doesn't have death machine power ups as well. So it's it's so crazy how oh, wait, that yeah. is so, so yeah. yeah is so interesting. Also, I just realized those zombies coming out of the top barrier there were getting burned yeah, from the yeah. tank. That was so weird. What the heck? Um, but yeah, so here you're now finishing up fire, and you basically thought that the first robot was going to be your upgraded ice staff how did you predict that is my question you were saying how if you have one robot you kind of have a 50 50 were you just taking a chance on bringing that upgraded ice staff to uh the, yeah the robot in church yeah because that's that's a pretty yeah. lucky guess and you were also from what i remember in this run you also were running into the crazy place to get it which is so like you were right there, right at the exact moment it needed to be, which I think is probably another huge skip of this run. Like, your timing was perfect. Yeah. Um, the route, like, I really like playing for, um, like, you upgrade the staff, and then you come out of ice, and you play for that church robot. Right. Um, depending on when it comes, you can do the church box as well. So, like, a really good scenario is filling that church box and then putting the staff in that church robot. Like, that's really good scenario right right and also um, i find it interesting that on bo3 a lot of people leave the gramophone at lightning tunnel whereas in bo2 it's always wind tunnel and is that simply because of the boom hilda movement mechanics like it gets you to like move a little faster to wind tunnel in bo2 rather than like bo3 you're using the lightning tunnel i would say the majority of this run so what is the thought process on that is it just like a second faster or is it what what is yeah there's yeah. there's a few different things that go into it um i know on i'm pretty sure on origins megas they leave the gramophone at wind right um here i leave it at lightning um part of that reasoning is because i've already put it everywhere else so i've already put it at wind ice and fire and then i put right. it at lightning so it's good to just keep it there to not have to replace it somewhere else right as well as um that's kind of like the main reasoning. And then for Origins Megas, they want to move it to Wind because of the Maxis drone. They build it at right. Wind Tunnel, right? Right, right. And so on Church, or on No Gums, we build it at Church. And so we get our fists, and then we pick up the Maxis drone um, before we go to do the end step, which is kind of like efficient and works out in a nice line kind of. yeah it's so it's so fascinating how like every variation of this game and run is so different like that's that's why origins is such a unique map to me it's like you really can't find this with any other zombies map and here you are getting that super yeah. lucky gen 6 entry on the robot there uh yep. really really nice and yeah you got the staff in oh, and then so at this point uh, were you guessing that it was going to be wind or were exactly. you guessing that it was going to be lightning it's next not. yeah i actually completely guessed um, okay i completely guessed that it would be lightning and it worked out really well because i got it wow yeah no and that's that's rare man like like so if you miss if you miss this staff that's a reset right like you you would have to reset from that point or would you have still ran with this run I could still run with this run. Right. I think, like, if I didn't get the the church robot there, then the run would just be, like, cooked. Because, right. like, there's any robot can come, and it's just, like, I got, yeah. I mean. No, I think, honestly, like, that yeah. first robot is definitely what I think is going to take a lot of time path. for yeah, people to try and beat this. Because it's, like, that was so perfect how you literally ran up, and it was practically right there. And so here, also, I was saying before how... I haven't ever seen an Origins World Record one where they grab the MAA7 and upgrade it. What was your thought process with that? Is that just for chests or is that for the last step or you just like the gun or what was what was the deal with this upgrade? Yeah, so I don't I don't have the Boom Hilda right now, so right. um I could use the staff, but the problem right. with the staffs and when you fill a box is when you kill two zombies at the same exact time, they count as one. I see. Or if you I kill see. like eight zombies at the exact same time, they count as one. 
So it's better to use, um, you know, something that doesn't kill them all at once. And were you actually trying to hit for Mauser from the dig ups this game? Because in the yeah. title, you were saying how it's so crazy <laughs> that you got the golden shovel this game. So explain to me why that was so crazy. Because I think a lot of people get the gold shovel normally because they just take their time doing this run. Why is it so yeah. crazy to hit that in a WR, right? Let, let me yeah, know about it's, that. It's, I've... I've been yes. running Origins No Guns nice. for like, like I don't know seven years, and not once have I got to go on a shovel and run. Right. So that's Fucking like one reason why it's that. crazy. And then like to be able to get the Basically amount of kill. digs required for the golden golden shovel usually doesn't happen in a run. So I got like really lucky as well. Right. Yeah. It took you like less than Bowser? fifteen. I think you were telling it's me last time, right? And stuff, also, yeah, something around fifteen, maybe. Yeah, it's crazy. I want to rewind this just okay, to hit yeah. that robot right here. Oh, yeah. This entry yes. was insane, nice. <laughs> and like you were telling me how that could have also yeah, been like frame man. perfect, and I, I genuinely yeah. believe that because that entry, I've <laughs> tried to do, too. and it's like if you're one moment off, the it won't count as you entering in, and so it's like. What is like yeah, the the really cutoff awesome. point of that? Would you say awesome. like right when the foot stops moving, you can't enter in, or is it like you just have a a fraction of a second to enter in once it stops moving, or what is? Yeah, what it's, is the idea? I think it's like a it's either a one or two frame window. I think. Wow. But yeah. like, as soon as it steps, there's like a very like, it's like a literally like a frame or two window that you can just walk into the foot, and you can do it right. at the. Um, the wind tunnel foot as well with the middle robot right right uh, but but not church robot correct there's yeah. no um like, yeah there's no real you area can run in. yeah that's true that's yeah. true you have to be able to like run into it to do yeah. that yeah wow and it's what like you on that one? really really precise no i i find that so fascinating because it's like they they will allow that but like have you seen that funny origins fail on bo3 where it's like if you get into the foot like before the oh, gen man. 3 area you'll come out and die to a death barrier have you seen that on oh, bo3 yeah. origins like that's fun. that's yeah. that's crazy and so here what's insane is that you actually get the super unlucky gen 1 templars but that g strike is is the send you actually hit yeah, it tom, tom brady that <laughs> wow genuine <laughs> that is it. that is really impressive because again like i said like usually on previous wrs i see gen 2 and 3 but a Gen 1, a lot of people would oh, see that and be like, oh, dang, I don't even know if I can continue that. Yeah, and so, just to restart, but I'll play it out, yeah. Yeah, and so, so what more? step of the Easter egg do the Templars matter up to? That's A lot of people don't actually know that. Um, yeah. What point do you absolutely need all generators on up for this Easter egg? Right, that's actually a really good, um, good point. Um, I think, so when you pick up, after you shoot the pilot, when you pick up the Maxis drone, if right. all the generators are on when you pick it up, then you don't need them on for the rest of the Easter egg. Right, right. And and so just to reiterate, that's the zombie yeah. blood one where you shoot the guy and then right. you're you're grabbing the Maxis drone. I find it so fascinating that you were telling me that in the game file, they literally check for um, the actual all generators on for that one specific step that like, one step like yeah. that doesn't even make it genuinely that doesn't even make yeah. sense like why you need the generators it. on for the pilot to have the maxis it. drone and for you to get I, I don't get that yeah that, that'd be like um on garage crovey starting the challenges without all of the trophies it'd be like huh? right, How'd they right. Do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, like, yeah that's, that's a good point that's a good analogy <laughs> and so here you're finally filling up the chests. and is there a reason you're using wind staff is that just because you're expecting middle robot to come here um i think did i afd I no i didn't afd so yeah, yeah i want the last robot i need a place is the wind robot right so, right yeah that's why i got the wind staff yeah and so really interesting because it's like like i said you don't really see a run like this with m8a7 wind staff filling up the chest like it's so unique you <laughs> yeah, got a death machine, machine here, here. Nice. yeah and you get middle robot right on time which is just really really well done so um and is there a specific order that you think is optimal for filling up the chests, or does it not really matter? I think it depends on like what robot you have right. put staff in, but you want to leave. You want to do like Gen Four box earlier than the Clutch. other ones. Let's go. Right. Other than that, any order. Yeah, and you get Lock that super chat. lucky Mauser, and so that yeah, you're I mainly using for the round, uh, the the last step with the hundred elims, um... right? 
Yeah, and the Panzer kills. Right, right, yeah. And that, see, that I, one shot the Panzers. That's the crazy thing. A lot <laughs> of people first... and a lot of older Sorry, guides I've seen on Origins always recommend people to use like the upgraded fire staff. But it's like, it's insane because if you have the upgraded Boom Hilda or you one have shot, the yeah. Rega Mark II, even, Max's. yeah, it just wrecks the Panzers. So I think so many people forget about that. People just love using the staffs on this map, which I mean, totally understandable. And so and I think the reason why that is like why those those panzers from the rainfire stuff they're they have less health than normal panzers. Right, right. So they're like one shot and they can like sure. die to the G strike missiles and stuff. Yeah, like that. see that's that's so interesting as well. Like just how fascinating that is. And then here you get your thirty thousand points. This is for double tap, right? This challenge. Yeah. Yeah. And so tap, right? that is yeah. obviously going to be a huge benefit towards the final step. Do you find that makes Damn. Like a really big difference, so or is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... Especially for that M8. <laughs> yeah, la la oh, last yeah, is true. walking. My yeah. bad. Because <laughs> when you My pack bad. a bunch it's, of M8, assuming otherwise, it goes from like, like what three to six bursts, is or three to four. Imagine expecting the last. I think it's four to four. Run, oh, four to four. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 So that's that's insane as well. Yeah, and four so, burst gun is pretty good. Pretty yeah, strong. Here you're building the Maxis yeah, drone, and then now you're about to do the triple robots. Like, it's just insane to me that, like, this is what I mean. People do all 40 minutes of what you've done just to reset, yeah. right? <laughs> like, that's oh, just man. crazy. Uh, have you seen anyone in the community that's, like, super oh, unlucky God, specifically bro. with this step for speedrunning? <laughs> or is there, yeah. like, or what is that yeah, about? I think, like, um i think scotty i know scotty um during his like world record grind he had like multiple games without getting the foot like oh, in a row man. like maybe like eight eight games or something oh man that's yeah, crazy stuff like that happens to people <laughs> and so it's also really interesting because from the progression of this run a lot of people didn't oh, used man. to preemptively throw the g-strike but now i see it all the time people throw the yeah. g-strike first then get into robot and then hit the button do you find that works out a lot better or is it just simply to save time like it kind of seems easier than the traditional way of doing it right like I yeah think that's it's, it's a bit safer and as right. well as faster right yeah um it's what is what it does is it saves a lot of time on black ops 2 it saves like 40 seconds black yeah ops it's crazy. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of a delay I find between like throwing it all and like waiting for the hole to open up. I don't know. It's kind of kind of buggy here, and it's so I find it also interesting that Boy, you're utilizing this time as well, yeah, not only to up. finish up the G strike but also place your staffs in because you don't have yeah. self. -mend. I just glitched out. Right, right. <laughs> and then here the glitch out here. with the Panzer. <laughs> Wait, I was stuck in the floor. I should have. I should have been soft locked. Like you should have right. been. Should be stuck in the ground. Should not be able to get it, out. Right. And I did somehow. What happened? Awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really crazy. Cause I have seen games where people were soft locked and basically they're just sideways in the ground. And unfortunately, that is a big glitch I've seen in BO3 Origins. And it's specifically when two Panzers both use the claw attack at you and they just mess you up, man. Like yeah, it, it like it's rips funny. you in half. <laughs> yeah, it's so bizarre. The and, mess is like when it happens to like uh, like randoms because they just have no clue it's coming and then it's just like they freak out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. Dude. So good. Like fail compilations. And, and it's so cool with this because it's like you're not even focusing on the Panzer. You're actually focusing on just bringing all the staffs to the crazy place. And so yeah. my question for you is like on no gum comparatively to Megas, how long do you think this adds <laughs> to the run? Right? Like does it add like... I don't yeah. know. Like, there I get the golden shovel. Uh, and there's the golden ever, shovel. I've never yeah. gotten the golden shovel. Yeah, I do it a adds about a that. lot of time. Like, yeah. I think like each so each staff transport oh, is like a minute. Wow. And I got to transport like sixteen. Three of them. So a few minutes right. just from that. And with self med, you can right. you only need to do two total trips, right? Because you can hold both of the staff. No, you just time. do one trip. Oh, you just do the one trip. See, that's even crazier, right? Yeah, yeah. So you don't even have to golden? transport it, anything. It literally wow. like adds like almost three plus minutes I need just to the run. Yeah, which that's is, a lot of time. Yeah. That is that is a Record huge this. amount of time, and so I get why people don't necessarily like that because that's a whole other level of just oh, really nice opportune too. timing yeah. plus the uh, the staffs being placed as well. Like self medication is really just like the craziest skip for a gobble gum I it's think I've so ever nice. seen. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> it's, it's awesome. I, I don't. I honestly don't even get how 
Uh, people figured that out. And you got super lucky there filling up that chest right with the last yeah, zombie just almost. Yeah, a few zombies. Dang, that was really lucky. And so now you're getting the fist. And so I noticed that a lot of people on BO3 Origins for the fist step, they like to stay at the top area here where the M M1927 oh, wall by is. Why Why do you find that is? Is it just faster spawns? Or what is what is the deal with that? So the play is to actually be like right, right around here by the M19. Right. And you can shoot the ice staff like up up the stairs because the white fisted zombies they only spawn um, at the M19 or below. They don't spawn up by the gramophone. Right. So um, the strat is to kill everything that can't be white fisted, and um, that's why we play up top so we can kill those guys. Dude, even the way you hit those chariots was so cool. Like, you long range those so hard. And, like, even on yeah, BO2... Yeah, that goes back to the Ice Staff's uh, infinite range. Right? Yeah, you wouldn't be able to do that on Black Ops 2 then, right? Like, it wouldn't reach no. that far. Yeah, the range on BO2's Ice Staff, people don't realize, is so bad it's compared really bad. to BO3. Yeah. Like, you couldn't even hit those chariots from the top of the mound there, which is... I mean, that's, for, that's actually crazy. And then, so here, you also get a pretty lucky... Zombie blood allowing you to just kind of like uh, run right through. Right around here, and I mean, uh, genuinely, this is a really, really well done run. Uh, and you were telling me also for this last step, you were struggling. Is it because of the ammo that you were struggling or just because like uh, oh, yeah. not enough good I think drops? I, yeah, I don't get any drops or no, right. no useful drops. And then I think I have an ammo issue as well. <laughs> it just goes south. Which is crazy because it's like I'm looking at your <laughs> M8A7 right now and it's got... 400 bullets but that's actually only 100 shots right because of the I four rush. round burst so yeah people, people always that, yeah, yeah like people always forget here, about that <laughs> like how how that is and then so here you're grabbing the fist you're also grabbing double tap here right yeah, yeah. i could have grabbed the max ammo but like all the zombies are spawning in and i don't right. i don't want to die I see these guys yeah almost kill me Nails and the there banter. is no perks or there's no animation skip for anything there other than Pick the uh, the fists, right? Like, that's a cool animation yeah. skip that I've that's seen a couple ammo. people figure out. That uh, was really sick. And then, so here, you're pretty much man. pretty much ready to go. And here's the other thing that I think a lot of people yeah, don't realize. And back me up if this is true. Putting AATs on your guns doesn't actually count for souls on the final step of Origins, right? Like, they didn't actually code that into the map. It's actually, so it's kill-based. So oh, okay. Deadwire and Blast Furnace, when you kill zombies with those AATs, they count as kills. So those okay. count. Okay. But Turn, a Thunderwall counts as well. Turned and Fireworks, those do not count okay. as kills. See, that's so interesting. Because I, I yeah. do remember using Fireworks and being like, none of my Elims are counting here. Like, that's right. that's so fascinating. And so it's like, just because it's Deadwire, I mean, Flashbacks. doesn't even really make that much of a difference. I feel like no, you're really wasting too much time just to even try and get a double tap of it. So... Yeah, and yeah. you're just, you did this really well here. Got the Panzer, take him out with the Lightning. Get the Panzer drops a nuke, which is really, really good. Yeah. Right, and then you got also a lucky insta-kill here, and the staff allows you to take out a couple extra zombies, and nice. so, yeah, you hit some really good drop cycles there. Um, and then, so on the top left, did you hit a gold split on the fist there Bro, right there? Bro, literally flashbacks. Or, that or, or, yeah. that okay, that's pretty cool, like... Die. That was a really opportune sort of drop yeah, cycle. Yeah, that nuke. Yeah, that nuke was pretty good. And then yeah, just and the it, robots overall was good. Does he know? Yeah, and it's just a little unlucky here, like you said, that you weren't yeah, able to right. have you enough time rock. either Rush. to pull the max. You missed it. Or you I got know, just rushed. Right. Yeah, I literally through. got rushed in this run. But here it is, man. The final step. Just, like, really well done, man. Shut it up. <laughs> Are you like, going to be continuing nah, to speed run this run, or do you feel like it's maxed out for right now? Because I know you said it can be two cycles faster, back, but what is what are your thoughts right now? Yeah, I mean, due to how like RNG of a category it is, right? Uh, I, I I won't come back to it unless like somebody probably beats it, right? But I would I would like to get like a good time in this category because I think it's a fun run to play. It's just, it's really RNG, so. Yeah, no, it, I, I think this is like, we were talking about this before, like BO3 Origins is actually the most vanilla way, like no gums, the most vanilla way to yeah. play this Easter egg. So because drops. even on BO2 Origins without any gobble gums, whatever, because it doesn't have any, you still have all these glitches the that yeah. skip. Yeah, yeah right. And, so that basically skips so much of the run. And so 
This is truly the most OG way of playing Black Ops of, of okay, regular so drops Origins. Were so just like yeah, really, Raw Origins gameplay. Really, really exciting. And so Not there. here, are you just uh, hoping for an insta kill or a death machine? What do you? What is I actually need to better? Kill, here? Max ammo, Hands off the death keyboard, machine. Stuck. Honestly, I think I guess death machine's just, the best. I guess right. yeah, death up. machine, so but what? I'll take anything I can get. Right. <laughs> yeah. True. And so. Basically, you're just going for the spawns here. Are this are there specific areas that you're looking for for spawns right now? Are you just like because I I know a lot of them, a lot of people like sticking near this like lightning staff side of the crazy place. Is that just because it has faster spawns here? Or yeah, there's actually a reason for that. Okay. Um, so the spawn zones at lightning are better because at fire, there's um, there's like 16 active spawns. Oh wow. And three three or four of those spawns it'll spawn a zombie in and then it'll just despawn okay which loses a lot oh, of time right? right so if you play right. here at lightning that doesn't happen oh so that's, that's so interesting that. is that just like poorly designed from treyarch or is that yeah poorly designed oh, game <laughs> that's crazy is that the same on bo2 or is that only bo3 it might i think it is the same on bo2 because i know bo2 runners are starting to play at lightning as well and they're saying at the oh, same time oh so. interesting yeah that's right, okay. That's very fast. And there yeah, you go, man. You hit the WR. That's crazy. WR. So <laughs> close to sub 50 oh, as fuck. well, man. Off so by close. three seconds. Where, would you say that like there was something specific that held you back on those three seconds? So bad. Yeah, there's kill like the the drop at the end. If I if I didn't have to, uh, dude, that was like a 30, you know, kill all the zombies with the fists. Upgrade. I would right. have just been a few seconds faster. <sighs> Dang. That's well, man, it's been an absolute <laughs> pleasure. God, I'm glad we finally yeah, awesome. got to record this, bro. Any last words for anyone? This is a really good run. I'm I'm excited yeah, to man, see the future right. of this, but just follow me on my Twitch runs. where I do uh, where I do runs every now and then. Yes, but sir. Uh, I appreciate you having me on. Yes, really? sir. Yeah, and I'll have all the stuff in the top link in the description. Thank you again, Invisible Hole. Thank you again, everybody, for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see y'all in that next one.